Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a menthol shave today, using a soap which I've used several times over the last two years. I really enjoy it, it's quite a firm soap and it will last you a long time if you buy a puck of it. Now, I have it squished into my stray whisker tub and it is snake bite, which is made by fine accoutrements. Now, this is just pure menthol. There's no other scent but menthol and it, it smells great for me, I love that scent of menthol. I do generally always have a little bit of a nasally tone, a bit blocked up all the time with hay fever and things, so and years of abuse on nasal sprays and all sorts of crap. So, let's have a nice little mouthful of coffee and we'll just get stuck straight in. So, it's going to be a cold water shave and I'm going to be using my turn and shave custom. This has got a 30mm whipped dog bore brush, a bow knot, which is a real crazy looking knot. I'll just flick a bit more out and you can have a look at how sort of twisted that knot is. But it's a stunning brush, it really is. Made by Milton over in the States. Custom wise, there's not many better than him, I have to be honest. There's no tooling marks ever on his brushes. His knot selection is exceptional. His synthetic knots are the best on the market at the moment in my opinion. They're softer than anything else out there and they just, it's an awesome block to work with. So if you are looking for a brush, head on over to Etsy and look for Turn and Shave or flick him a message on Facebook, Milton Shave, and he'll look after you. Now, I do know that he's very, very backed up in terms of custom orders. He's struggling to even put out, he used to do it like a, a drop every now and then and he hasn't done one for a while. So straight into this one and here we go. Now, this was actually knotted by Reyes Restores over on Instagram. Milton will not send you a brush outside of the States with a natural hair knot on it. So that's something to bear in mind. If you are looking for a natural hair brush, you'll need to find some other way of knotting it or knot it yourself and just buy the handle. But he will not post international with a natural hair knot in the brush and the handle itself. So just something to think about. If you are looking to use him and you want a badger or a bow hair knot or something in there, he won't ship it to you. No matter how many times you ask, he won't do it. So, this one was knotted by Reyes Restores. Now, he will knot them for you as well. He just send, charges you for knotting the brush, knotting the handle, and then it's just the standard postage charge or whatever it is at the time, that USPS charge. I'm gonna really load this nice and heavy today. As you can see, one thing about shorter handles is it gets absolutely everywhere. So, just wet my face. Now, unfortunately, I'm looking to do videos every Tuesday, Saturday at the moment. My computer, which is a Mac, an iMac, it's been an absolutely tremendous computer. It, it, it's just struggling now to sort of deal with 4K video. It really is struggling. The, the new form, or the new 4K 60 frames per second on the iPhone XS, it's just too much for it. It just cannot cope. Obviously, it's a 2011, I think, iMac. It's now eight years old, and it still works better than a lot of computers on the market at the moment that are brand new off the shelf. So what I've done is I've dropped my film rate, recording rate down to 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is what I used to use previously. And to be fair, it's still tremendous quality. Try and scoop this off the handle as well. Got so much of it. So there is the loaded brush. Absolutely chock a block full of soap. Just about to start painting it on. And here we go. Now this knot in particular comes pretty much ready to go. It didn't take very long to break it in and it was very soft on the first use. Just at the tips and start painting some water in. Now 
Now there are those out there that aren't big fans of fine accoutrement soaps. I personally think they're very, very good. I don't think they're as good as some of your high-end artisans or as they get called in the, the shaving game, the elite artisan soaps. You know, Ariana and Evans, Barrister and Man. I definitely put face fat and God, there's just so many now. Oak and Lab, they're all in there. Noble Otter, Wickham. There's, there's, the list is never ending, all these elite soaps coming out. And they're all, in a way, as good as each other. There's nothing, you know, there's no real soap that's dreadful. Everything is usable. It's just whether it works best for you compared to something else. Now I do have very, very hard water here in Western Australia. The water that we do get through the tap is generally groundwater, so it's come from way down below us. And then it's heavily sort of chemical and cleaned and then re-energised with all the stuff that you, they say you need in your water. Magnesium and your calcium and things like that before it then comes out of the tap. But it's just very hard. Right, let's play this out then. I'm actually getting a very, very good menthol kick off this today. Very, very cold. In terms of scent, all I'm getting is pure menthol, and it's not strong, the scent, it's just there, I can just smell it. It's not affecting my eyes at all, so it's definitely not as cold as, say, a Sterling Glacial, but it's definitely cold. You cannot argue with that lather. It's thick, it's dense, it's creamy. The brush is absolutely chock-a-block full of glossy lather. And let's get stuck in. Now, I'm venturing into a world of unknown here. I've tried this on several occasions, different razors, at different times throughout the last two and a half years. What I've got here is the Car Christopher Bradley Lake razor. Excuse me, and I've got a feather blade in here on its third use. Now, generally, I get one shave out of a feather blade. The last one, well this one here, I've got two so far, but I've upped the blade to the base plate to the C plate. This is the original razor that I bought from Carve. So it's the three inch handle with the C plate, which is 0.85 blade gap. And I have not used, I don't think I've ever taken a feather blade to its third use. So let's just see how it goes with the Carve. Like I say, this is a cold water shave. I do find the carb razor will make a, a sort of milder blade, like a derby, last for ages. And it seems to get the best out of the blades as well. The first two uses on this blade came from the B plate. About 24 hours growth. Thank you. 
Wow, really impressed that this. It's even getting more life out of a feather blade. And like I say, I get generally one shave out of a feather blade, sometimes two. The second one is generally a little bit tuggy or a little bit rough, and that's why it ends up going in the, in the blade bank and going in the bin. Super coffee. Pull the sink back up. Yeah, so a nice, cooling, refreshing feel. Plenty of slickness from fine accoutrements I find. The one thing that lets it down is the post shave, which you get to at the end, but it's the post shave is never anywhere near what I get from other soaps. So by the time this video was up, I'll finally have an update on why some of the Saturday and Tuesday videos have stopped because I don't have my computer's just not allowing me to convert them. Stunning ladder. It really is. Right, cross the green. I have to say, I absolutely love that feeling. Once you've done the first pass, you've washed it off, put the soap on again, and then you dip your razor in cold water, put it on your face, it feels like you're dragging an ice cube along, it's just beautiful. Now the temperature over here today is only around about 23 degrees. But the humidity is just incredible. Weepers, but nothing to rave on about. Just gonna add a little touch of water, just see what happens. Now, this is a very, very big knot, but it's not a dense knot, but it does hold the ladder very well. Weepers down here. You can still see. Even though it's thinner, it's still got a cracking ladder.
very very nice now one thing i will say with the feather blades doesn't matter whether it's the first use or as this one is the third use they're not very forgiving now you tend to if you're not careful and you don't take care of them they do give you little weakers and nicks and cuts and stuff Woo! oh hell that's freezing And that one there a week for a little while. So while that's drying off, I'll rinse the brush out. So I think I mentioned on one of my previous videos that myself and my wife, or my wife and I, have returned to living pretty much a paleo lifestyle. So no grains, no dairy, no gluten, no legumes. All natural, nothing out of a packet or a tub or a can. And strangely enough, the second time around, which this is the second time that we've went paleo, we did it for nearly four years, and then got sort of just come off the tracks and fell apart a little bit. But this second time around has turned out to be a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable. And I mean, so far, this coming Monday will be our seventh week and as of the end of the sixth week which was Monday that's just gone I've dropped 6.3 kilos or something I don't know what that is in pounds if you work in pounds but it's a fair bit of weight to lose in six weeks and I'm on course I think I feel and I look like I'm on course to smash it again this week so I've been really enjoying it it's nice to lose the weight again and the upside of that is I've lost a lot of weight I've managed today for the first time since 16th of December which is like three months ago four months ago I've been able to actually get out on the football pitch and have a run around with my boots on kick a ball with no pain and my plantar fasciitis so it's still there I can still feel it when I've got my boots on when I've got my inserts in but when I put the football boots on now they were expensive but when I put them on, they do hug my feet very, very tightly. It feels like I don't have a boot on. And no pain at all. Able to sprint, able to run, jog, kick a ball, everything. Like I used to. So it was really, it was quite exciting for me to get back on the pitch and actually kick a ball again. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, this is my first year of Masters soccer, Masters football, which is over 35s. So I turned 35 this month. And I'm really looking forward to kicking a ball again in a team and getting back out there and just keeping fit and enjoying what I what I do and playing soccer again. Right, so the soap for today was Snake Bite from Fine Accoutrements. In my opinion, an excellent soap. It does now come in its own little tub. You can buy it in a tub now, and it works very, very well. The brush for today was my Turn and Shave, which is an absolutely stunning brush. 30 mil whip dog boy. You can really see the twist in the knot now the way it is. It's very soft, it's, it's quite luxurious, it holds a lot of lather. You'll get three, four passes out of a good load every single time, and it just works very well. I think the handle's stunning, I think the knot's great. It's not out there enough, that knot, and I think if you like bore brush, you should really have one of these knots in your den. The razor was the Carve Christopher Bradley razor. Now this is the C plate, which is 0.85 blade gap. It's a really, really beautifully built razor. It's a three-piece razor. And uh, you can see it's got the feather blade in there. And that was the third use on the feather. It's precision built. It's an amazing razor. Now, I say it's a three piece. The top cap and base cap, or the top cap and safety bar, those two there are single pieces of brass. Now this one here, you might think it's a single piece of brass, but it's actually not. It's the barrel here that's got all the knurling on it. It's a single piece. And then this little button on the bottom and this little bit here that holds your, the head, that screws on the head, they're actually three separate pieces and what happens is Chris over at Carve compresses them together so the, the hole that runs down the middle of the barrel is actually narrower than what the, the diameter of the little caps are. So when he pushes them in they actually squeeze in and they compress and they're actually held together with no glue or anything, it's just the way the metal works and holds it all solid. It's beautifully built, beautifully weighted 
and it just works stunningly well. And I really, I can't wait for the stainless steel to turn up, but it's been a long time coming. I was expecting it, I was speaking with Chris last year, by December last year, I was expecting it to be released. There's obviously been quite a few snags in the, the process of creating it, buying the right tools, getting the right cutting tools, getting the right machinery, the right stuff to work it and get it right before he releases it to the market. So I'm hoping over the next couple of months, two or three months, that this thing really takes off and starts going into production because the brass ones, as much as I love them, it's the best razor I've ever used by a mile. It's the best, hands down, the best razor I own, the best razor I've used. I'm just not a fan of brass. I do not like brass in the slightest. I think the design of this really makes the brass look a bit better. Now this is nearly a year old now, and you can see the patina on it's not that great. I do dry this after every shave. I really look after my stuff. It gets clean, polished and everything. Not polished, but it gets cleaned and buffed up every shave, so it's bone dry. So the patina doesn't really take. So high quality brass, so it will stay that nice golden color if you dry it after every shave. Oh, sneeze was on the way there. I'm just gonna finish off now with some shea moisture shave. This is gonna burn. But nowhere near as much as I thought it would. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is me done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed that slightly longer video today. I was, I just sort of got in the groove there. I've got loads of videos ready to be sort of uploaded, I just can't get them out of iMovie at the moment, so if you don't see any for a while, I do apologise when you see them all, I'll just cram, smash, bang everything all into one go, just to keep things flowing. And other than that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.